how do you know when you're able to demold the concrete castings that you're making? I guess the shortest answer to that is to say, if it keeps breaking when you're demolding it, you're probably demolding it too early. <laughs> so how early is too early for demolding your concrete castings? It depends. I mean, you know, when you have delicate features or like, look at this, this guy's ear, it was always a problem for me. They were always breaking off. Like, I mean, in theory, there was two ears on there and some of them work, but a lot of them broke, like more than 50%. Fortunately, he was still pretty cute, even with the only, only the one ear. The thing is, is all these different ones have little features, like the finger point on Wink and the Gun here. I've, those broke all the time and <laughs> the eyebrows on Megusta here. Those ones were, I mean, probably 25% of all the castings I made had failures there. Almost all of those could have been solved by allowing the concrete to achieve more strength before I demold it. When you're making concrete castings, you got a few things working against you. One, if you want profitability, you got to go through it quickly. And two, you also just have, and I'm sure you can relate to this, when you mold or cast something, you're excited. You want to see what it looks like. I don't know how many times I demolded something too early and broke it just because I was excited to see what it looks like. Don't do that. Learn, learn from that and wait a little bit longer. So let's talk a little bit about how long you should be waiting to demold and what the logic is behind it. Well, if you're demolding within 24 hours, and of course it depends on your mix design and the temperatures where your stuff is curing, it, it's going to be different for everybody here. But in general, after 24 hours, you've only achieved maybe 35% of the finished strength of this concrete. After 72 hours, we're around 60%, just a little bit over 60% of the finished strength. So if you're demolding at 24 hours versus 72 hours, well, it's almost twice as strong at 72 hours. And you might not be breaking off the finer details from your casting when you do the demolding. If you wait a little bit longer, let that concrete get stronger. Yes, it's a slower process, but it's going to enable you to have more, you know, finished uh, pieces without losing ones and having all of your fine details lost with all the work you've done. It's the worst time to have something go wrong. You've put all the time in, you've put money in, you've made the stuff, you've waited, and now you broke it when you demolded it. It's the worst time because now you've invested so much into it and you're still losing the piece ultimately. So after three days, you've got maybe 60% strength. It's still breaking give it another four days. So now after seven days, you've achieved approximately 75% of the finished strength of this concrete. That's pretty strong, like especially compared to day one, which was around 35%, waiting to the end of the first week at 75% is substantially stronger and probably should result in less damages during the demolding process. After 14 days, you're only up to around 85% of the finished strength, and then around 28 days is your 100% finished strength. So how do you know when it's the right time for you to be demolding what you're working on? Well, let me give you a tip for that. Anytime that I'm making something like this charming happy face here, I always take some of the mix that I'm using and I just put some aside. Like, I mean, you've always got a little bit left over anyway. So what I do when I'm ready to demold, when I think it should be good, I'll go to that test piece and I'll just break a piece off of it there. And I mean, how strong is this stuff? It should be pretty strong. If it just turns to sand when you apply force to it, it's probably not ready yet. It could be cold or you might, you know, have a, a mix design that's taking a little bit longer to set up. Give it more time. So what else can you do to help you lose less pieces during the demolding process? Do you wet cure your casting? If you allow your concrete casting to dry out entirely, basically at any point during the curing process, the curing stops, the concrete is exposed to stresses, and if it's not strong enough yet, it's going to crack. So if you are not wet curing, that is something that you could look at doing. And what is wet curing? Well, in a nutshell, Wet curing is when you mix your concrete together and then you place it and finish it and it starts to get hard, but you don't let it dry out at that point. As soon as it's able to physically withstand some misting or spraying of water, you're adding water to it and you never let it dry out throughout that entire process. That is what wet curing is and it results in substantially stronger finished products. 
you could wet cure for the first three days, you could wet cure for the first seven days, or you could wet cure for the entire 28 day process of the concrete, and you will just get better and better finished results in terms of stronger finished concrete. So why doesn't everybody just wet cure everything? Well, I mean, you have to be able to take the thing and physically submerge it in water because you can't stand out there with a garden hose every 30 minutes spraying it down. I mean, maybe you could set up like a sprinkler if you had a sidewalk or a driveway or a patio and you're wanting to wet cure that, especially for the first three days or seven days if you can't. In those conditions, yes, you could potentially try to keep that concrete slab entirely wet, wet curing it for the initial cure process. But for bench top and ornamental level stuff, that's where wet curing is very important because it's so easy to do. You just finish it, you keep it wet so it doesn't dry. As soon as it's physically strong enough to be able to be demolded and handled, just put it into a bucket or container and submerge it in water entirely for the entire 28 day cure process. When people have a lot of failures demolding their concrete castings, you might get some advice to add some tensile support like fibers or steel or an armature of some kind. And it's not bad advice. It definitely is going to enhance the strength of the concrete, especially in terms of its tensile strength but it's not going to engage those things that you've added. You're not gonna get any benefit from them until your concrete cracks. And if you're making something ornamental or decorative, you probably don't want your concrete to crack at all. So even if the foot of a thing that you're demolding doesn't break off entirely because you've put steel or fibers into your mix, well, it's still a failure ultimately. You're not gonna be able to sell it or give it away because it's got a de defect. If you want to avoid having that defect entirely, the steel is not the way to do it, or the fibers reinforcing the tensile strength, it would be to let the concrete cure longer before demolding it, or potentially look at some sort of admixtures that you can add to give your concrete a stronger finished strength property. Something like um, PVA additive or an acrylic latex additive might be beneficial. Perhaps a water reducer is something that you could look at using as well to enhance the finished strength. The stronger the concrete is, the less likely you're going to be breaking it during the demolding process. And since I mentioned the demolding process, take your time. Don't rush it. Don't force the concrete. You're probably going to break it when you're demolding it. Take your time, bit by bit, work the edges all the way around and keep doing more and more passes until you can successfully demold it. If you just try to grab one end and tear it off the piece that you're making, well, it might work, but more likely than not, you're going to break the thing that you're casting in the process. Patience is key. So there isn't a definitive answer for every person at the perfect time to demold 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours. It's going to depend on the complexity of the products that you're trying to demold. It's going to depend on the kind of rubber that you're using or molding process that you're using, because some of them are more stressful on the, the concrete casting than others when you try to demold them. You just, you're just going to have to do a little bit of trial and error. But 24 hours to 72 hours is kind of that specific window that's ideal for demolding your concrete castings. If you're breaking too many products at 24 hours, look at 48 hours or even better, 72 hours, wet curing the concrete for the entire 72 hours, then demolding. You should probably find yourself having a lot more success.